In this video, we'll provide the solution to question number three from pr the practice midterm exam number two for math 2270. We are given three sets of vectors and we're asked to determine which of these ones are orthogonal. So some things to remember about orthogonal sets is the orthogonal, the orthogonal sets cannot contain zero, which if I look for R, S, and T, that's a quick thing to throw out here. Uh, there's are no zeros, it, there's no zero vectors anywhere, so I can't use that to throw anything out. Um, also, if an empty set and a set of just a single non-zero vector are always uh, orthogonal, there's none of those present, so I'm going to have to actually check pair by pair what's going on here. So if you look at the first pair, if you look at the dot product there, you're going to get 0 plus 1 plus 1, which is 2, which is not 0. So that tells us that R is not an orthogonal set because the first pair wasn't even orthogonal. Um, if we look at S, we look at the second pair right here, you're going to get 0 minus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 0. That's promising. If you look at the second pair, uh, you're going to get 0 minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. That's good. Then we have to look at the third pair right here. We're going to get minus 5 plus 4 plus 1. That's 0. So all three pairs are orthogonal. There's no 0 vector in there. So S is definitely going to be a, a orthogonal set. Let's do the same thing for T. Um, if we look at the first pair, take their dot product, you get 0 plus 1 minus 1. That's a 0. That's a good sign. Uh, the next one, you're going to get 0 minus 3 plus 0. Uh, that's equal to negative 3, which is not 0. So T is not an orthogonal set. So the correct answer for this one would be B. S is the only orthogonal set provided.